Hi, this is Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. Welcome to this video about the legend in Milestones Professional. First of all, you'll probably notice this schedule does not currently have a legend, so I'm going to go to the Layout tab, and you can see this box right here, Enter Legend Height. So right now it's set to zero, and that's actually how you get rid of the legend if you don't want to show it. Um, usually, I'll show you another option as well. Um, so Enter Legend Height, uh, it's currently zero, so I'm going to change that to one. Um, this is going to be in inches, and you can see our schedule is nine inches tall uh, vertically. So I'm going to press Apply Legend Changes. And then you can see that legend shows up. In this example, the legend is already set up, uh, but I'm going to show you how to add legend entries and modify them as well um, here in a few seconds. So on the Layout tab, the only thing you can really change is the legend height. So you can change it um, you know, to whatever size you want, or you can change it to zero um, to normally hide it. There's also another button below the Apply Legend Changes button. Um, it doesn't really look like a button until you hover over it, but you'll see Full Legend Settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to select the legend, uh, so it'll open up the Selection tab options for the legend. And then you can see right here you can change the legend height, um, and you can also change a lot of other options. So uh, one of the big options you can change on the legend um, settings here is the floating legend. So I'm going to check that. And you can see the legend is now kind of taking up this uh, extra space here, this uh, row nine. So if I uncheck floating legend, you can see this example is kind of set up to have a blank row there where the legend will float to. So if I check floating legend again, this legend's actually floating kind of as its own little object. So I can actually uh, kind of hover near the sides and you know either resize it or uh, kind of move it around um, depending on what the arrows look like. Um, and you'll see here, um, as I kind of scrunch it down, the, um, the legend entries themselves are not going to automatically move to another row or anything. So you want to change the entries per row setting right here to kind of make your uh, legend look like whatever you want it to look like. Um, and you can kind of see as I uh, change it, these are going to go to like a different row. And what you're seeing here is these are actually blank legend entries. And you can use blank legend entries as kind of a spacer to uh, make your legend uh, look a little nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete those legend entries. So I'm just going to click on that uh, blank entry there and just press delete and press delete and click on that. I'm just pressing delete on my keyboard. Um, you can also right click on the legend entry and just choose delete legend entry. So if I wanted these to just not be, you know, really spaced out like they were, I could just delete those uh, blank legend entries and I'll just change this to one, two, three, four, five, six entries per row. So I'm going to go back to the layout tab and click on full legend settings. And I'll just change my entries per row to six. And then you can see all the legend entries kind of fit on a single row. So I'm going to kind of move this uh, back to uh, be kind of more evenly spaced here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And um, another thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of this frame. So um, <clears throat> this frame can sometimes, um, you know, just make the legend not look as good, so I'm just going to remove that frame. And that's actually in uh, back in the layout tab. If you go to full legend settings, I'll just uh, uncheck frame legend and kind of get rid of that frame. And just kind of depending on your uh, how you want it to look, you might want a frame or you might not. Um, you can also change the background color here as well. So if you have a really nice background color you want, uh, maybe like a lime green. Uh, that could look pretty good. I'm actually going to undo that. So anytime you make a change on the milestone schedule, you should be able to go to the Edit tab and click on Undo right here. So you can kind of see that undoes that change right there. Now there's a couple of ways to add legend entries. Uh, the first method is to just right click on the legend and just choose Add Legend Entry. So I'm going to select that and uh, I'll just type an example here. And 
For this example, I'm just going to do a single symbol. So I'll just check uh, symbol one. You can also do you know, a whole like symbol bar symbol combination if you want to. Um, but this uh, drop down, that's going to be looking at your toolbox. You can see like this blue and green triangle. Uh, that's kind of the first row in the toolbox. And then um, it just kind of goes down uh, the toolbox. So if you don't see it on here, you'll have to kind of edit your toolbox to add whatever symbol um, or bar that you want to use. You can check out our toolbox uh, videos uh, for kind of how to do that. Um, but just as an example, um, I'll just choose maybe this, um, this little symbol right here. I don't really think it's being used, but I'll just choose that symbol uh, just as an example and press OK. And then you can see it kind of added that. So we've still got six rows on the um, legend, so it kind of put it on that next row. Um, now you could change this if you want to. So if you want to um, you know, add that uh, seven entries per row, you can either go back to the layout tab uh, like we did a few times, or if you have a um, legend entry selected, there's actually an option here to switch to full legend. So you can click on that. And then you can see these options here. So entries per row, I'll do seven, and that looks pretty good. So it kind of put everything all on the same row. Um, you can also change the order of legend entries, so you can just click and drag and just kind of move, you know, whatever legend entries in whatever order you want. Um, you can also modify the legend entry um, just by clicking once on the legend entry, and then you'll see in the selection tab up here, you've got those same options we just saw. So, uh, you know, show symbol one, uh, show symbol two, etc. And you can change these. So if you want it to be, you know, this black arrow instead, you just change it up there. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of how you can add legend entries and also, uh, you know, move legend entries around. Um, you can also add legend entries in another way. So there is an option um, if you select a whole row in the toolbox. So like these, uh, these kind of circles with the bar in between them, if you select with the small plus tool, you can right click on the um, toolbox and there's an option to uh, insert selected row into legend so I'm going to choose that and that's actually going to take um, the symbol bar symbol combination and just insert it into the legend so that's kind of a new feature that we added in uh, I think version 2021 so if you don't see that you might need to upgrade uh, to our latest version um, and then you can see it just added it uh, to another row so now I probably need eight entries uh, per row right there. Um, if I want to get this back to kind of how it was, I could just um, delete this. So I'm going to just press delete on my keyboard. And we'll do the same thing uh, with this example one. Uh, just press delete. And then I could insert some blank legend entries. So I can just say add legend entry and um, just kind of keep it blank. And then it'll add a blank legend entry. So I could use that for... Um, you know, spacing, um, <clears throat> if I want to. So I'll just add, let's see, a few of those. I don't remember exactly um, how many there were, uh, but I'll just go back to the full legend settings <clears throat> and I'll say nine entries per row. And then you can kind of space space those out, kind of using those uh, blank legend entries to, you know, space out your legend, kind of however you want it to look. And that's pretty much all I know about the legend. So if you have any questions, feel free to email support at kidasa.com and be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com. Have a nice day.